lot of y'all are saying, this is a mistake. <laughs> uh, all, all I can really do, and, and all I'd like to say is I, I couldn't have done it alone. I, I appreciate the opportunity that President Don Lazenby afforded me, um, whatever good he saw in me, and, and my ability to lead those two groups, property management, Anybody's ever been to a frack here and knows there's going to be some problems with property management. <laughs> and I've always explained that property manager to most folks is a lady named Eunice with two cigarettes hanging out of her mouth. <laughs> a, third, a third one is straight to go, and there's nothing professional about it yet. <laughs> so I'd, I'd like to try to you know, say that I've done a little bit toward advancing. <laughs> Government affairs wise, it was tough as heck trying to stay right down the middle of the political aisle, going to Martin Luther King and Kennedy stuff and going to the uh, Reagan stuff too. I mean, it was a task, but I appreciate the leadership of past chairman uh, Cindy Eggley, Pitt Warner, John Nagley, and others that uh, walked in the footprints that I stepped in later on. I appreciate staff that helped me more than they'll ever know. Uh, Carol Burgess, attorney property management. Lindsey Sparks and Frankie Cowan Elliott on the government affairs side. Without them, I never, ever would have been able to accomplish leading two uh, fairly visible committees at the same time. And you know, lastly, I'll just close and say, what a, what a mighty God we serve. Yeah.